be a lot better when you stop using that voice. <laughs> Sorry. I've been at it since 6 in the morning. <laughs> Ooh. Gross. So, are you new to Los Angeles? No, no, I'm, uh, I'm from around here. I'm just, um, just, you know, visiting family. Good! Home for the holidays, right? Yeah. <laughs> home for the holidays. Oh, come on. I mean, what could be better than spending Christmas with your family? Not spending Christmas with my family. Okay, what's your ideal Christmas then? <laughs> I don't know. I think you should give your family a chance. You should enjoy some time with them. That's what the holidays are about. Yeah, okay. Uh, thanks, guy in a costume at the airport. Yeah, it's wonderful. But, you know, there's my bag, so a good one. <laughs> Do you want me to sit on the suitcase so you can zip it up? Like a scrawny little thing like you wouldn't make any difference. <laughs> You're right. So, fill me with ham and cookies. This is what I want. In good time, my impatient daughter. In good time. <laughs> so, when are we leaving? <clears throat> as soon as your dad gets back from the airport. She's really flying in, eh? I don't think she's been gone long enough. <laughs> Doesn't it bother you? Her going away for so long and not coming back for almost two years. Of course it bothers me, but she's got to find her own way. Sometimes going away by yourself helps you do that. And, uh... But so does coming home. I know. I just want it to be like when we were kids again. I mean, the decorations aren't even up. Things have been crazy at your dad's office. He's been working every night just so he can take this trip. I know. I brought him coffee the other night. He's starting to look homeless. <laughs> I mean, has he gotten around to shaving yet? Oh, uh, he did. He's a very driven man who sometimes needs to be reminded he has a face. <laughs> what about you? What about me? How are you doing? Oh, I'm fine. We closed the doors at the store for good. Kept a couple people on till the end of January and we'll liquidate the stock on eBay. I'm so sorry. We had a lot of good years. I guess it's just time to move on. <laughs> oh. You're the smartest person I know. Now, I'm worried. running a marathon. I was gonna stick a number on your shirt, but I ran out of staples. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I'm not, right? I can't think of a thing you're forgetting. I just don't want to go upstate and have to run back here again. I know. I need Christmas time with the family. Of course. But we're at crunch time to land this big account. They are very happy with us. But they're also in Japan. They only take like a half a day off every year. A slight exaggeration. I'm sorry things are so tense. I just need this to keep our heads above water. You're doing fine, sir. Please don't call me sir. It makes me feel old, Dur. And do you think everybody's okay with me taking my break a day before everyone else? Like, are the troops okay with this? I think they'll be fine. Look, thanks. You're, you're great. And I'm sorry I couldn't come up with a bonus this year. You're a great boss, you respect us, you trust us to do our jobs, and you're honest. I couldn't ask for anything better. 
that's just what I need here. Like, why don't you just go and join the party and I'll see you in the video. Well, hey, maybe a Valentine's Day bonus. That could be a thing. Hey, uh, Haley, is everything taken care of? Um, I'm not sober. How about the Farnsworth file? Is the Farnsworth file in order? I'm like two of these away from sitting on the phone. Right. You, don't, you don't have any matches on you or anything, do you? Uh, nope, no matches. Alright, have fun at the party. I like your hair. Yeah, it's the first thing anyone ever says. It's a pretty good consensus then, right? I mean, I guess. Four out of six dentists agree. Two out of three. That too. No, that's two out of three when you break the fraction down. Actually, that's not true. No, Dad, yes it is true. The place you spent all the money on that you sent me to, they told me that. But I literally surveyed six dentists. <laughs> and four of them say, your hair looks bad. Oh, thanks. Yeah, whatever you say, old man. It's true, I got bunions now. I oh, check. no, Dad. Statement retracted. Oh. Is he enjoying it up there? Yeah, I am. Um, finishing school in Seattle has been great. Making lots of friends? Yeah, yeah, always. Any boys? And it stops there. I'm allowed to ask? No. For my sake? No. Nope. Jeez. That many boys, huh? <laughs> but you know, um, I've been kind of thinking about staying in Seattle you know, after I uh, graduate. You mad? No, you sound like me when I left Buffalo. Do what makes you happy. Yeah? Could be worse. Could want to move to Florida or something. What's wrong with Florida? All of it. Is that him? You're like a jumpy little beagle puppy. Okay, girl. Come here. Mommy give you a treat. <laughs> you blah, but I make a great dog. Because you're so loyal. And your coat is so shiny. Mm. No, because when I'm happy, I wag my tail. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely them. You are your father's daughter, you know that? <laughs> That's what you keep telling him. Oh. How about some authentic desert radio? All will be smoked. Who do not bow down. What does smoke mean? It's like when a lightning bolt comes down from the sky and turns you into ashes. Instant. What happens? No. <laughs> Stop scaring your sister. So to just continue consuming what the New World Order wants to feed us as we become sheeple. What's the New World or World Order mean? It's these weird lizard people that control us and use the media and mind control. I don't like that at all. Sally, please. 
Triple homicide, he is considered armed and extremely dangerous. What's a triple homicide? It's when these people- No! It's nothing, sweetheart. Okay. I can croon if you want. <clears throat> yeah, you don't want that. I like your hair. Yeah, thanks. It's great. You okay, sweetheart? Hey, what's wrong with the squirt? I mean, I was just kidding about the lizard people and the lightning bolt. She's been running a fever. A flu bug was going around her school. Ah, oh, poor thing. It's good to have you back. So where's Tim? He's joining us, right? Yeah, he's just driving up separately. Any way we could stop so I could have a cigarette. Don't tell me you use those disgusting, deadly things. You, you know how I feel about them. I think white noise is really underrated. Good to be here, sir. S sir thing really creeps me out. Oh, good to see you. Oh. Oh, I got some cargo to drop off. Hey. Oh, look, I'm so glad you came. Oh, me too. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys um, find some place to sleep in, on different floors. <laughs> right. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Again with the sir thing. Um, hey, why don't you come and uh, help me carry some stuff, okay? <laughs> go to bed. Now you slept most of the drive you needed. When I go to sleep, is that when the lizard people come? <sighs> Who told you that? Well, when I just made it up. Oh, sweetie, there are no lizard people. And if you drink some water and get some sleep, you'll feel a whole lot better. What if I miss Christmas? I swear on my honor, I would never let that happen. Promise? I promise, you've been such a good girl this year. You're gonna have so many presents, you won't have time to be sick. Pinky promise. Pinky promise. Hi, I'm Tim. Uh, it's so great to meet you. I've heard so much about you. Oh uh, yeah, like what? Uh, well, uh, I'm... What have you heard about me? You, you go to school? <laughs> uh, in Seattle. Yeah, that's the, uh, a lot you've heard about. Yeah. Okay, well, uh, I'm just gonna be over here. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> She could have kicked you with her fist. Then you'll fit in just fine with this family. Really? Yeah. Did I sound sarcastic? 
I can't wait to get it up. <laughs> right, you know what? You need. You all need to grow up. A tree. Oh, is that something that people still do? Uh, would you like some cocoa? <sighs> no, it's like seventy-five degrees outside. Plus, I don't really feel like being a part of your Norman Rockwell painting. Come on, Sally, you can't act like this isn't fun. I don't have to act, Dad. It's lame. Oh, you're not gonna smoke those things in this house. Mm. Oh, I can't help but feel so welcome here, guys. We're trying to include you, but you just sunk like a two-year-old. Oh, name-calling. That's great, Mom. If you don't want to be a part of this family's Christmas, you can just go to sleep. Are you sending me to my room? Yes! Well, fine! Forget it. I don't need any of this from any of you. Good night. I'm sorry. It's okay. My father's Italian. What does that mean? Never mind. Are you okay? I can't deal with this. I'm gonna go get ready for bed. Good night, kids. Good night. Good night. Are you okay? No. It just keeps getting worse every year. She's assassinating my Christmas. I can't believe her. Huh? I thought you were done with the office until next week. I guess I should give it a rest. How do I reach her? You gotta be patient. You pull, and then she pulls back. She's so frustrating. <laughs> you two are a lot alike. I am not stubborn. I wasn't like that when I was her age. Okay, I see what you mean. Look, tomorrow's a new chance and another day. All right? Good night. Good night. Your dad really bought one of those things? In every room of the house. I shouldn't even be here. It's obvious they don't want me here. I belong in Seattle. There's no reason. No reason. You know, those are terrible for Whoa! you. Whoa! Who the hell are you? Calm down. My name is Chips, and I'm here to help you. We're gonna need help when my dad comes down here with a baseball bat and rearranges your skull. They can't hear you. What do you mean they can't hear me? I have magical powers. Watch. Whoa! I'm a Christmas spirit. Yeah, and I'm a flying nun. Don't let the haircut fool you. Like I told you, my name is Chips. It's a nickname that's stuck. And I'm here because you are on the wrong path. You have a lovely family who love you more than anything in the world, and you seem to reject them at every turn. If only you had any idea how many people would give everything they had to have what you take for granted. Maybe you should mind your own business. You know, I'm absolutely sick of hearing everyone come in, come into my life and telling me how I should run it. It's my decision, my choices. Could you stop that? I mean, it's kind of rude. All rude. What makes you think you can walk into my life and tell me how to run it? You can't even dress yourself, let alone guide anyone else. I have the right mind to bust you in the jaw right now. That is 
the last time that I'll ever have to say it because this is happening. Stop it! Stop it. Listen, I've tried to be polite, but clearly that doesn't work for you. You seem to like to hear yourself speak more than anyone else. But I have a way that I might be able to help you finally listen. What? What's happening? I feel weird. Stop it. Are you getting bigger? <laughs> I guess you win this round, kiddo. So, what do you want to get out of your day? I want ice cream and candy, and I want to ride the horses. You want to ride the horses? Yes. Which one? All of them. <laughs> All of them. You want to do that before or after the uh, ice cream and candy? After. <laughs> well, I guess if I want to keep my grandpa credentials, I'd better oblige. <laughs> Come on, little Sally. <sighs> Burglar? A fire? A monster. Why is everyone looking at me? How did that get in here? Who are you calling that? Whose dog is this? Dog? Oh my god. I'm a dog! <gasps> He's so cute! <laughs> did you do this? No way, you? No, why would I ask you if I had? Why are we whispering? I don't know. You did. <laughs> it wasn't me. I'm one of roses and chocolates kind of guy. Tippy, get away from that strange dog. You don't know where it's been. We don't want to stay with the puppy. We'll, we'll bring him up to you later. We will. It's a dog. <laughs> that elf-looking idiot made me a dog and a boy dog? Gross. Where's Sally? I'm right here. Oh, she's probably upstairs somewhere. Oh my goodness, she is so cute. <laughs> yes, she is. Well, I know that. <laughs> Maybe, uh, maybe we can have a dog like this sometime. I guess so. <laughs> what are we gonna do with it? Uh, what do we feed it? Hey, when life gives you a bulldog, you make... lemonade. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> Alright, time to decorate. You're such a dork. Hey, uh, you want to help me get this started? Oh, I've got to get breakfast. All right, I'll just hang out here with the dog. I hate to admit it, but I don't have much else to do. We should name him. I already have a name. Like Rex or Spike or Arthur. Arthur? I like Arthur. You would. Good morning, me familia. Oh, Peggy, could you please take that beast outside so he doesn't mess on the floor? Come here, boy. I think we have a ball somewhere. Well, I guess all my other plans were canceled. You know, since becoming a dog. I guess we'll do it alone then. <laughs> yeah, that one's big enough. I am not chasing a... Nice. I could get used to this. 
Oh, I get the It's over here. It's over here. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. I got it. I got the ball. Oh, I got it. Wait, oh, oh, lost it. Woo. Ah, there it is. Great time with that yoga ball. <laughs> yeah, it was okay, I guess. Hey, I could really use some help with this undertaking here. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, Peg, aren't you gonna show me that uh, oasis you've always been talking about? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, I promised. Go ahead. I'm sure Mom can help you. I'm baking cookies. You're on your own. Are there any instructions or anything? I know how to make cookies. I shouldn't be trusted with tasks. I found this place when I was 14. It's like the seasons just don't touch it. This is pretty special, isn't it? Yeah. Never really shown anybody else before. Really? When my grandpa was around, I'm sure he wandered every inch of this place. But I found this place on my own when I was 14. I spent so much time underneath these trees, studying, trying to get ahead after winter break. When did you pass away? Jeez, five years ago? He built this place on his own, and he kept horses and chickens and goats. No matter what, every year, we'd stop everything and come up here to see him for Christmas. Your mother's father? Yeah. I miss him. I'm sorry. So it stays like this all year round? Uh, I don't really know. I've never been here in January when the weather starts getting cold. California, how cold can you get? I remember one Christmas Eve morning when we were little, Sally and I woke up and the entire place was covered in snow. Grandpa ran to the attic and brought two old coats out, dusty. They were two sizes too small, but he fit them on with duct tape. Well, it does fix everything. Then he went out into the backyard and played in the snow. We made igloos and snowmen. Until we couldn't feel our fingers and toes anymore. And then we went inside and Mom was asleep on the couch. Tippy in her arms. God, she must have been two. And Dad and Grandpa made us hot cocoa and ham sandwiches. Mom was too exhausted to cook. Then we sat around by the tree and ate and drank, watching TV until we fell asleep. Grandpa must have put us in our beds later that night. And then we woke up the next morning and tore into the presents. <laughs> I'd give anything to have that day back before we all fell apart. Perfect! Now 
that's a pretty broad definition of the term perfect. They're stuck! Not exactly, but go for it. <laughs> Honey! Even for you! <laughs> I blame the dog, it distracted me. Hey, all I've done is watch this train wreck happen. A likely story. So what do you think? Perfect. I think I could do better, and I don't have thumbs. I love you. What is that? Oh, brother. Literally. <laughs> is that thing housebroken? I don't want these carpets ruined. Good to see you, Randy. <laughs> Randall. Randy is... Kelly, what did I say Randy was? Um, boorish. Yes, terribly boorish. <gasps> Who's your friend? Oh, that isn't my friend. This is my assistant, Kelly. It's nice to meet you. Shut up, Kelly. Sorry. What brings you out this way? Do I need an excuse to visit my lovely sister and her family? <laughs> well, yeah, kinda. Don't be silly. I knew it was important to see my family for... Kelly? Christmas. Right. For Christmas. I can't think of a better place to be right now. I guess so. I think today could be pretty great. What's so great about it? Uh, uh, the weather, uh, animals, forest, uh, company. I don't know. We all piled into the car and drove up here. It doesn't feel like it did. Oh, rushed and forced. Then we get here and try to set up the tree and get in a fight with Sally. Everyone's upset. I think she'll come around. She hasn't in years. I mean, she just keeps getting meaner and meaner. I just want it to be like when we were kids. We'd make snowmen. Snow if I could. I mean, we're all fine until Grandpa died. And ever since then, getting her to spend time with us is like pulling teeth. Really? I don't know. I've never actually pulled teeth. <laughs> Have you told her this? No. I want to. But every time I try, she just guns me down with her eyes. And I just chicken out. I just, I wanted to catch her off guard this year and run up and give her a big hug and tell her I love her. I think you should. It wouldn't do any good. <laughs> I know it's totally unrealistic, but I feel like she'd bite me or something. She's not that bad. I guess. I don't know. I'd like to think that you never know what potential there is. I guess. I don't know. I think today could be the best day of our lives. I don't see how... I mean, everything is changing so fast. I just... I just want things to be the same for just a little while longer. I know they have to change. They have to change. But I just... 
even just for a few weeks. I want things the way they were. I like them the way they were. Uh, uh, my, sh my shoe needed to be tied. I tied my shoe. I needed to tie it because it was untied. But now it is. My shoes are tied, so I was just going to stand after I was tied my shoes. All right. <laughs> are, are you all right? Yeah. It's getting kind of chilly. We should probably head back. Yeah. I don't care. Sell it now. Just do it. And cascade synergy to our strategic business partners. Uncle Randall is kind of an idiot. You're so tense. Is there anything I can do to help? Please don't touch me. And a jerk. Oh, I'm sorry. And what is this dog still doing here? He's shedding everywhere. You can't really get that up. You're just jealous because I have hair. It isn't affecting your allergies? Maybe a little. I have your pills. Um, whole or half? Half. Oh, I don't have anything to cut it with. I'm waiting. been great, but she spoiled it. <clears throat> oh, hi. I'm Tim, uh, Peggy's boyfriend. Tim, this is my uncle, Randall. Oh, well, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm sure it is. Hi, I'm Kelly. It's nice to meet you. Uh, Kelly, this is my niece, Peggy. She's going to school for, um, something. I went to school for something. Uh, no one cares. You know, I've never bitten anyone before, but with this guy, I could definitely see it happening. Do you have a good hike? Oh, yeah, we really should be going. No way, we're just about to start dinner. It would be offensive not to have you. It'll be offensive to have him. Come on, just for old time's sake? Kelly, pencil in nostalgia from 5 to 6 30. I'm really sorry, everybody. I don't know what's going on with the oven. I can't get it to work. Aw, I had my heart set on ham. I'm disappointed. Throw me some bread or something. It's fine, dear. We'll get it sorted out. Is this ham free range? I don't know. Kelly. Google it. Yes, sir. So what's wrong with the oven? I think it's the gas line. I stuck my head in there to look inside, and it was looking back at me, and I heard Kesha lyrics. I think I'll have it ready tomorrow. So, no cookies? Oh, he'll get it fixed. Ham and cookies are motivators he understands. Is there gluten in this bread? Of course not. Every Tuesday, I drive to the farmer's market, 45 minutes outside of town, and pick them up from this kindly old couple who wears 100% hemp clothing. Yet they harvest the wheat themselves, and then they grind it under the watchful eye of their Indian spirit guide. I pay for it with my Discover card. This is really good. You guys use that tangy zip stuff, don't you? I think so. It's a nice change of pace. I'm glad you like it. The bread is stale. That Indian spirit guy is an idiot. Sorry? It's fine. Don't be a brat. Oh, excuse me. But this brat, as you so eloquently put it, is putting this house on the market next year. So you can stick that between two pieces of your 
mediocre bread and chew on that. What is he talking about? You can't do that. You only own a third of the house, just like I do. True. But Sally said she'd give me her third, so we can finally unload this empty eyesore. She would never do that. Well, I mean, the place is worth a ton of money. We only come here a few days a year. I expected her to be here. She was going to sign over the paperwork to me. Well, she left last night, and we haven't seen her since. Well, I can't say that I blame her. You can't do this. This is just like you. Honey. No, you know, you came here to ruin our holiday. That's why you're here. Don't be ridiculous. It's just business. I'll make sure you get your 33. <laughs> this is ridiculous. It's just a house, guys. Come on. What a rude girl. <sighs> I can't believe this. It's gonna be okay. Oh yeah? How so? It's so poetic, isn't it? It would take my jerk uncle and my incredibly mean sister who hates me to bring down my Christmas for good. Why does your sister own a third of the property? Because Grandpa left it to her. She practically lived here. Well, maybe your mom will think of something. My sister sells her share to our uncle. He can sell his place. Really sorry. I know things must seem pretty dark right now. Thanks. But no matter what happens, we all still love you. I still love you. Thanks. You always seem to know what to say. Well, I do what I can. So angry. Well, maybe change, sometimes change can be good. <sighs> yeah, you're not helping anymore. None of us use this place more than a few days of the year anyways. This place is a gold mine, just waiting to be, well, mined. <sighs> I mean, Kelly can show you some grass if you'd like. Uh, that's okay. Thank you, Kelly. Look, I promise you, as soon as I sell this place and we make our hefty amount, you'll get your 25% that you deserve. <laughs> you know I don't like any of this. You don't have to like any of it. Once Sally signs the paperwork, it's a done deal. This house will be on the market by the end of the year. You know what, Randy? If all you're gonna do is show up and upset my fa our family, maybe you should just leave. Man, Mama's laying down the law. That's a wonderful idea. Kelly, start the car. Yes, sir. Maybe we could just buy off your stake of the property instead? No offense, Eric, but the kind of money we're talking about is more than the little change that your firm can make. It's a, it's a serious piece of property. No offense taken? I assure you, as soon as I sell the place, you will get your 20% that you deserve. Excuse me. What? The, the roads. It's snowing. Snow? Since when? Well, I'll be dipped. It's snowing hard. This is ridiculous. Kelly, yes? fix this. I can't. You're fired. What? Looks like you guys are gonna have to spend the night. Kelly, are there any hotels nearby? Not within 30 miles. The Prius doesn't handle well in the snow. I guess I can stay here for the night. I do own a third of the place. Perfect. Kelly, you're unfired. Make my bed. 
In a surprising turn of events, a kind of wintry mix system is moving its way toward our section of Northern California. You know, this is considered to be a freak weather phenomena, or as some people are calling it, a kind of miracle. So we'll have to see how this system pans out throughout the rest of the evening as rain clouds slowly turn into snow clouds. And now, the Easter Bunny with sports. You know, I really don't need your help. I can get here on my own. Hey, Squirt. It, you, you smell good. How's dinner? Oh, you didn't miss anything. Just sandwiches. Uh, Dad has to fix the stove tomorrow. You brought me the puppy? That I did. Do I hear Uncle Randy? Yeah, um, he just stopped in for a real quick visit. He's not very nice, is he? Well, he certainly has his own way of doing things. I would beg to differ. Did you want me to get you a sandwich? No, my tummy doesn't feel that good. Mm. I'm sorry, sweetheart. I want to see Sally. Well, um, she's not here right now. But as soon as she gets back, I'll send her right to you, OK? OK. I'm right here, Squirt. Just not the way I think you wanted. I don't want to be sick. I want to spend Christmas with everyone else. Yeah. You and me both, kiddo. So how'd you end up working for Randall? I answered an ad online. He's a great boss. He's so funny. A real laugh ride. I know, right? He wet the bed until he was 11. What? Really? Yeah. Just file that one away. <laughs> I informed the office we'll be back tomorrow morning. Do they even plow the roads here? For me, they will. Your assistant is very nice. Uh, please don't talk to the help. Kelly, let's go to bed. Sounds great. Good night, you two. Good night. Please. Don't smile. It bothers me. I'm sorry you're sick, kiddo. Not much I can do. Can't even open a door. I hate being stuck in this room. I want to go outside and play, and I want to eat cookies. Cookies don't sound too bad to me either. No one listens to me. I hate this. I want to be, I want to go home. I don't even want Christmas. It's okay, sweetheart. Tomorrow will be better. I promise. What's wrong with you, kiddo? I miss Mom and Dad. I know you do. And they miss you, too. But why aren't they here? Well, Mom and Dad love you very, very much. They're working very hard night and day to give you a better life. But our life is fine. Well, your Mom and Dad are something very special. They're what you call entrepreneurs. What is an entrepreneur? Well, they're both really, really smart. And, and what they do is they come up with really, really smart ideas. They, you know, ideas that other people wouldn't even think of. And they take those ideas and they show them to other people and they work on those ideas until they're real. And then you can see them. I mean, it's a very hard thing to do, but it's their calling what makes them happy. Are you an entrepreneur? <laughs> no. I'm just a hard worker. Your mom gets that from her mother. You know, she'd be very proud to see what your mom has done with everything. Why can't I make them happy? <laughs> you do. You and your sister both do. I mean, they're just spending a lot of time building their ideas so that they can give you everything you could ever want. But Peggy doesn't have to go away. 
Peggy's really little. All they have to do is drop her off at daycare. But you, well, I... Well, I shouldn't really say. What? Getting to have you here in the summer is, well, I... I, I asked them, really, I begged them to, to drop you off with me. Really? Well, playing with the horses and eating ice cream is a lot more fun when you're here with me, you know that? Yeah. <laughs> Besides, Christmas and Thanksgiving isn't nearly enough time. I mean, you are a wonderful granddaughter, and I love you very, very much. I love you too, Grandpa. Are you okay? What's wrong? <laughs> oh, what's wrong, sweetheart? I'm sorry. Why are you sorry? Don't you it well. Oh, honey, no matter what time it is or where I am, I'm always here for you. You understand that? I'm always here when you need me. Now, what's wrong? I'm not feeling any better. Huh? You have to be patient and let yourself get better. I feel not better by Christmas. He being stuck in this bed. Well, even with your new friend in here? Well, I do like him. I like you too, kiddo. Now, tomorrow is Christmas Eve, and that's a whole nother day to rest up and feel all better. What if I don't? Well, I could tell you a secret. But we'd have to keep it just between us, okay? Okay. There's something about bulldogs a lot of people don't know. Want to know what it is? What? Now, bulldogs may look kind of ugly on the outside. Excuse me? What with their smooshed up faces and their big old bellies. Ooh, that feels good. I'll allow this. But their kisses are magic. The kind of magic that can help little girls feel all better. I think I buy that. Oh. He's a stroke. Shh, now take your medicine. Oh, okay. Well, I bet you're gonna start feeling better right away. So I better let you get some sleep. I'll take this guy outside. Thanks, Mom. Good night, kiddo. Good night. Can I ask you something? I'd rather you not. Please? It's going to be quick, I guess so. Your sister's family really wants to keep the house. So? Well, I mean, it seems to mean a lot to them. It's just a piece of property our father built with his own hands. I appreciate the work you put into it, but it just sits here. You wouldn't miss it when it's gone? Absolutely not. Sentimental value is an oxymoron. There's no value in sentiment. It's a reasonably large estate smack dab in the middle of California wine country. There's rivers nearby, there's mountains to hike. Sure, it'd be a nice place for someone to live if they paid the right price. That doesn't sound so bad. Or build a highway. Or a quickie mart. I don't know, I'm not a developer. I just know when I have a valuable commodity and when to cash it in. You don't think you'd be just the littlest bit sad if it were torn down? Not at all. And Sally feels the same way. The money we would make from selling this place would set us up for a very long time. It's a no-brainer. I mean, ugh, just the burden of paying the taxes on this place alone is a pain in the neck. Now can we please go to sleep? Okay. Good night. Yeah, sure. Kelly? Yes? 
and write this down. Are you ready? Got it. Synergy. Proactive leverage. Problem solving. Asset leverage. Dynamic. Did you get all those? Yeah, but I don't understand. And you probably never will. Randall? What? Do you really think they'd knock down this beautiful old house and build a highway? For all I care. I think you should get married and fill this house with adorable little versions of you. Shut up, Kelly. Hey there, big buddy. What are you doing? I'm not going to take that personally. What do I do? What do you do? Wow. I had no idea they were getting so serious. I just love her so much. What the? Can you hear me? Seems like it's never the right time. I wanted to join this family so bad. I never even liked Christmas until I spent the past two years with you guys. Now I want to make her the happiest girl on planet Earth. I don't care how cornball that sounds. Wow, he really loves her. Nothing's been the same since I met her. It's all just gotten better and better. I just want to say to her... Say what? Uh, what a handsome dog this is. Yeah, that was a nice save. I guess. Whoa! You smell really good! How are you? Happy to see me? Just keep thinking about how the house is going to be sold. It's the final nail in the coffin of our family Christmas. You don't know that for sure. I always thought I'd fill this place up with kids. Me too. What? I don't think Sally will sell. She hasn't signed anything. He's right. Good morning, Starshine. The Earth says hello. <laughs> Do you sleep all right? Yeah. Where's Dad? Oh, he's catching up on some sleep debt. He's going full assault on the Christmas tree this morning. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Are you really going to let him finish that? It's a boost to his self-esteem. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, I can understand that, because Tim's out front trying to shovel right now. Oh, are you serious? Backyard seems a lot less terrible. Yeah, it's good for his self-esteem. <laughs> oh my god, that coffee smells amazing. But there's something else. It smells like pennies and dirty socks. Mm. Is that a Brazilian roast? Nailed it. Uh, no, it's a premium blend. Oh. Kelly. I have fresh beans in my purse. Excellent. Grind them and prepare my coffee. Sure. Where's your coffee grinder? Oh, we don't have one. I'm sure you'll be fine with a spoon and a bowl. Uh, our furry friend is uh, up too. Why don't you take him out, Peggy, and I'll deal with this. <laughs> Sounds perfect. And just a little bit of milk. The snow! The snow! It's just like when we were kids! You remember? We played in it! We had such a good time! <laughs> oh, I'm gonna!
my goodness. You know what? That's it. I'm gonna make a snowman right now, right here. I don't have to vote, but I don't care. I'm gonna do it. How'd shoveling go? Oh, uh, good, made a dent. What do you got there? Oh, nothing, nothing. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. I'm trying to keep it on the down low. Ooh, is that for me? I'm so flattered. I just don't know what I'm doing. Well, you might want to figure that out before you pop the question. I figured it's the right time, it's Christmas, make it that much more special. But now I'm wondering if I should ask at all. Do you have doubts? I know I want to marry her. I just can't find the right moment. Well, it's a big deal. Remember when I wanted to ask Steph? I asked her to her favorite restaurant, and then I had to keep telling her that I had to make an important phone call so I could go to the bathroom and throw up. Jeez. You were that nervous? It seems ridiculous now. Like, back then, we were big dreamers, fresh out of school. We had no time in the ledger for marriage and kids. I just knew that if I didn't get it out, I never would. Well, how'd you finally say it? Well, I had to put myself in a position where I couldn't turn back. So, I asked her to dinner, I said, we have something pretty important to talk about. And then I, well... well you gotta tell me. Well, I said to her, knock, knock. And when she said, who's there? I said, will you marry me? <laughs> You're goofing me. I'm really not. How you ask isn't really as important as just asking. If you speak from your heart, nothing truly wrong will come from it. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm good for about one of those a year. Hit my quota just in time. <laughs> can, can I ask you something? Shoot. How will I know when it's the right time? Well, I think you already know the answer to that. You just need to accept it. Whatever you do is going to be the right decision. I'm going to hug you now. Fair enough. I don't think you've spent any quality time with this pooch. Oh, <laughs> well. Have you heard anything from Sally? Uh, no, not yet. But uh, I'm sure she's fine. <laughs> Mom, you're the best. I'm so sorry I've put you through so much. I wish I could just tell you. Excuse me, I have to go alphabetize my books. So busy. I'm gonna go sit somewhere that doesn't smell like socks and pennies. Well, once we sell this house, all of our money problems will be over. Have I not been clear how I feel about this? If you sign over your part of the property so I can email it to my office and get the paperwork started, I'll give you an extra point of the profits. I don't want to sell the house, and I won't do a single thing to make it easier for you. I think you could stand to use a little more logic and a lot less rampant emotion. You could use the money. Is that so? With your store closing its doors, I really think you could use the extra income. I'm doing fine. We're doing fine. Mom's store closed? Since when? If you had any sense, you would have listened to me and not opened that silly place to begin with. I don't appreciate you insulting my life's work. Don't you get that? Then let me help you. You can start a new business with the money from the sale. Oh man, I want to bite them. But I know what happens to dogs you bite. Please stop. Just sign and we're all set. Time to improvise. I don't want to sell the house. And I'm not going to let you bully me anymore. Just do the right thing for your family and stop being selfish. I swear. Oh, God. Oh, oh God, that's disgusting. Is that coming from the dog? <laughs> oh, ow, that was burning. I'll never tell. Oh. Oh, forget. <laughs> Crack a window, Scruffy. Oh. Crude, but effective. <laughs> Piggy, it's like, I want to marry you. Will you marry me? 
One ring to rule them all. And in the darkness, marriage? It's marriage time! Oh my god! That is gorgeous! Oh, thank you very much. Is it a special gift? Uh, sort of. <laughs> hey! So, Dad's underneath the stove and I think he's making progress. Oh, hi, Kelly. Hey, did you see the ring? The thing! The thing! The thing! The th uh, sorry, she's kind of hard to keep up with. <laughs> uh, well, uh, Randall was hollering for you. Oh, thanks. She's actually really nice. Yeah, she seems it. I just hope she finds a better line of work. <laughs> is so good. Thank you all for the food. It's our pleasure. I'm glad you like it. I think I would like some more ham. Please pass the ham. Now. Hey, are you okay? Oh, oh I'm sorry. I I'm just really getting worried about Sally. She hasn't called or come back and the weather's still really bad. I'm sorry. I wish I could tell you I'm safe. I'm sure she just had somewhere better to be. Like the rest of us. That's enough. You know what, Randy? You don't have to sit here and eat our delicious food or enjoy our company. You don't have to be here at all. You can leave anytime you want. No one's holding a gun to your head. Peggy, please. Randall is family, and no matter what happens, family is always welcome at our table. Dad, how on earth did you become so wonderful? And it won't be your table for much longer. And I can't stand it! I hope you're happy with what you're doing to this family. I have a, and a book emergency. The, sorry, the, the chair, sorry. I can't believe this. They're all so angry, and this is my fault. I ruined Christmas. <laughs> I'm so sorry. If I could speak now, I'd, I'd tell them all how much I love them. I'd, I'd tell them how sorry I am. I'd, I would never push them away again. <laughs> what more do I have to do to be back to normal? Chips. Did you, did you go and forget about me? Well, maybe you did, and maybe I deserve it. But if I could only say one last thing to them, I would just say... Merry Christmas. Well, when I was a little boy, my mom and dad came all the way across the entire ocean to live in this country. And they worked hard day and night. I mean, we never had very much. Where we came from, Christmas was just a small celebration. But when they saw how things were done here, well, they fell in love with it. From then on, they did everything they could to make the holiday special. That's what's most important, Sally, that we were all 
together. That's why I built this house, so that we would have a place where we could all be together and celebrate the beginning of each year with the people we love the most. That's the most important thing in the world, Sally. Don't ever forget that. I love you so much. You scared me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I was just looking for a glass of water. Oh, are you feeling any better? Um, yeah, as best as I can. Good. Yeah. Right now is my zen. <laughs> uh, what are you doing? I'm sorry, I've never been caught in the act <laughs> before. Every year I get up extra early and lay out all the presents. Can I help? There's a lot here. I know. I mean, I thought times were rough. Oh, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Don't be silly. <laughs> you didn't have to get me anything. I don't have to do anything. Sally and I have grown up and out of the house, but we still have Tippy to worry about. <laughs> Honey. I've been robbing Peter to pay Paul since before you were born. We're going to be fine. Do you think she'll be back? I don't know, but I hope so. I miss her. Why does she do this to us? Well, when the girls were little, Dad and I worked seven days a week, and we put you with a sitter a lot of the time. Sally was older, she'd get frustrated, act out, so we sent her to my dad's for the summers. She loved it, and they really bonded. That's why he left her part of the house. Mm. She was like another daughter to him. Oh. They were cut from the same cloth. It really clicked. Well, oh, Grandpa loved all of you very much. They just had something special. So why would she want to sell the house? Because it's painful. Well, you can go through your daily life and you know it's gone. You're here. It's just so absent. It's hard. <clears throat> Losing my dad was the hardest thing I ever went through. Since she was little, Sally never handled her anger very well. I was just hoping that we could all love her and support her enough to get her through it. I hope we still can. <laughs> You never know what tomorrow will bring. I love you, Mom. <laughs> I love you, too. But I'm sorry you walked in on the mystery of Christmas. <laughs> I guess it's just another tradition from when you were a kid going away. I like helping. Maybe this can be our new tradition. No. <laughs> Mm, 
I don't think she can right now. Merry Christmas, everyone! <laughs> that I had you know, like food and a leash. Um, cell phone died, bad weather, got stuck. What can you do? I'm just happy you're oh, all ma. <laughs> I thought I heard you. I'm so glad you're here. All you have to do is sign this contract and I can get out of this godforsaken house. You know what, Randall? Um. I can't sell you my share. It's part of our family. I had a verbal contract. Yeah, and those hold up real well in court, don't they? I am so disappointed in you. Kelly, you're fired. Get my things. Hey, sis, um, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. I'm an idiot. I am. Um, I was just angry, and it, it was my fault. It wasn't yours. It wasn't anyone's. And I love you. I love you so much. Merry Christmas, sis. Merry Christmas. It's so good to see you. <laughs> hey, big guy. <laughs> I, uh, you know what? I think he has something he would like to, uh, say to you. Well, Peggy, um, just wanna do, um... <laughs> yes. will, will, you, will you marry me? What is going on? I feel short? Do I have hair? My hair is beautiful! Wait, I have paws too? Oh my god, a baby puppy sweetheart! Oh no. Kelly, oh. you're fired! Oh, stop it! Aren't you oh, just shut a up, Kelly. Oh no. You're so no. precious. <clears throat> God, no. no means no. Stop. Ew. Ew! Oh. Oh. 